Back up, Lewis. Well, I had a tent for you. He came forward telling the world Elvis Presley was alive. Six years later, we checked back with a doctor who says his life will never be the same. Even that he was treating him. I told the truth then, and I don't have any regrets about that. Where is the doctor, and does he still claim to treat Elvis? Hear what he has to say six years later. They never uh, the is Elvis Presley alive? Absolutely, I would testify it in a court of law. Coming up, six years after he claimed he was treating Elvis Presley, we track down the doctor to find out where he is today. And death by deal evidence and the woman who claims she is the king's half sister and that Elvis is still alive. But whatever happened to the doctor who started all of this? Box 8 Suzanne Stratford finds out for us. What's it like coming back here? It's painful to think about it again. Kansas City psychiatrist Dr. Donald Hinton was summoned back to Memphis to meet with attorneys. A lot of mixed emotions, mostly. I don't want to be here. The attorneys represent a woman named Eliza who claims she's Elvis Presley's half-sister. Lab reports suggest that her DNA not only matches the Presley family, but also matches a man who claimed he was Elvis back in 2002. And his DNA matches both sides of the Elvis family tree. The man, who calls himself Jesse after Elvis's deceased twin brother, was Dr. Hinton's patient back in 2002. Is Elvis Presley alive? Absolutely, I would testify it in a court of law. In 2002, Jesse claimed he was Elvis and that he would prove it to the world right here at Graceland on the 25th anniversary of his death. But that day came and went with no Jesse and no Elvis. What was it like for you when he didn't come out? It was very, very difficult. But Dr. Hinton doesn't blame Jesse. I mean, he mentioned specifically people by name who run this enterprise that they have said to him that, you know, you're never, you're never coming out. Um, he has talked about how much money they make every month and how much money they were going to make in August of 2002. And he told me, he said, son, it's all about the money. Attorney Bill Bradley represents Elvis Presley Enterprises. Our position is that that's just uh, nonsense. Dr. Hinton still stands by his story, even though his reputation's been tarnished by it. People have called you crazy. People have called you delusional. People have said you made this up. People have said you were dealing drugs. No, none of that is true. Yeah, I'm still a physician in good standing with the state of Missouri, fully practicing. And um, the Jesse thing is what it was. Um, I told the truth then, and I don't have any regrets about that. Hinton no longer treats Jesse or speaks to him directly. It's a relief to not be his physician anymore, but it's just still very sad. Dr. Hinton stopped seeing Jesse after several investigations in 2003. The first, by the Missouri Attorney General's office, cleared him of any wrongdoing. But the Missouri State Board of Healing Arts made him temporarily surrender his DEA number or license to prescribe certain medications because of the various pain pills given to Jesse. It hurt me to know that my children were hearing these things that weren't true. Hinton worked hard to get his life and career back on track. Then he learned of the lawsuit filed by Eliza in Memphis. It surrounds that DNA Jesse gave us back then, when Hinton heard a judge had reopened the estate. I think I was numb. I, I, I just was in shock because I had put it behind me. Dr. Hinton hopes to one day be vindicated and prays his former patient is doing well. And he dreams that the current court case will finally set the record straight. He gave the world so much of himself that he deserves to be happy. In Cleveland, Suzanne Stratford, Fox 8 News. To learn more about the doctor, the DNA test, and the woman who claims she is Elvis Presley's half-sister, go to myfoxcleveland.com, click on news. All right, a lot of folks uh, getting ready for Thanksgiving.